superstars in every direction as all eyes are on Perth. Oh, oh. Yeah, he's coming out. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh. Oh, oh. The West Coast Eagles in the uh, 200th game, Nala and Darcy. Prittis going out with their famous father, Matty Prittis. Congratulations, Pritta. 200 games, and what a champion he has been. Sandover medalist in the waffle before winning the Brownlow medal, and just an out-and-out -out champion. Plays the game the way you'd love to see him play it all the time. Hard in at it, aggressive at the ball, scrupulously fair, and a wonderful leader as well. Matthew Prittis, congratulations. As I said, uh, rainy conditions at the moment, so it might just help Fremantle get in and have a real uh, battle tonight, get stuck into each other. Maston comes in for Benell, who is out omitted from the West Coast Eagles side. Josh Kennedy for the West Coast Eagles, a common medalist from last year. And good to see Chris Maston back ahead of schedule from a, a serious ankle injury in the pre-season. He'll be back to bolster the does, West Coast midfield. It doesn't really matter, Adam, uh, how these sides have gone uh, over the last couple of weeks. At the end of the day, this could go Anyway, really, there's pressure. You can feel the tension in the air here. Both sides, both clubs are under a lot of pressure. Potentially, Fremantle will go to zip and three. There's huge question marks about like their capacity to make finals this season. So this early in the year, it's a big storyline, Dern. Derbies are always a like, little like Anzac Day or yes. Collingwood matches. Form line is irrelevant when these two teams come together. Jonathan Brown, Dermot Brereton. These two teams, they talk it down all week. But when the ball is bounced, it is on. Derby 43 is underway and Sandlin straight down to Fife. And the Dockers will get the first clearance. Barlow to Sheridan, off half back. Of the old kick out to half forward. Alex Pierce nudged underneath it and Hearn can go back to retrieve. Gaff for Shuey. West Coast retreating. And the kick has to be good. Across the face of goals. It is to Jetta, but he drops the footy. Time to recover. Fremantle trying to put pressure on early. Oh, now McKenzie. Oh. Don't mind that. Didn't panic. Dropped the ball, but didn't panic. Stay there. Hold no poster. I suppose when you've got that much pace, Brownie, you, you, you can afford you. not to panic. Yo. Okay. Something I can't really relate to, Dan. <laughs> no. It's an experience we've never had unless we're travelling in cars. Yo. Long kick to half forward. Ibbotson dropping back oh. to fill the space in front of Kennedy. Kennedy couldn't quite make it, but did affect the spoil. Back through the middle, DePaul Hi, made the contest. Chewy's handball good. Hearn can send West Coast up to the 50. Darling, good hands. What a beautiful kick. CB looking closely at their setup. Sandilance, another hit out down to five. Threw the footy away. Maybe a free kick to the Eagles. But Fremantle wanted after two disappointing weeks. Back in the middle, Natanui. And the free kick given away there. You see Alex Pierce trying to ruck against Natanui. Advantage paid. Shuey sends it in. Lysett. So the second ruckman for West Coast drifting forward. Yeah, was, Chance for a quick response. Yeah, it was good, Adam. They had a spare man. Shuey was able to pop out the front of the centre square. The Fremantle Dockers spare defender, Zach Dawson, stood on the back of the centre square and got caught in between. Didn't know whether to commit to Shuey or not. And therefore allowed set to get past and take an uncontested mark, really, inside 50. Scott Lysett, a bigger role this season after Callum Sinclair departed for the Sydney Swans to get the quick reply for the Eagles. Before disposals, 22 of them contested and started to get forward of centre, and that's the big advantage that Ross Lyon has. Jetta bursting through the middle for the Eagles. Darling outnumbered. It's been good at taking, no taking free kick. marks in defensive 50. Free kick Ooh. going West Coast way. Ibbotson had taken the mark, but Darling was being held on to. Yeah, I think Matt Dawson decided he was going to definitely make it a win for the two against the one. <laughs> Sutcliffe holding on. The free kick to the Eagles. A chance again for a quick response. And he's just snuck it in. Go to West Coast. Sandilands and Natanui. Natanui spun around. Sandilands a hit out to Hill, just lost it. Natanui though, to Marston for Shuey. And a good kick for Jack Darling. And he's got some run from Gaff. Wanted to draw the man to him. Steps around Spur. Kick up.
up for Kennedy, who did well against Barlow. Marston for Shuey. They're trying to break through the lines here. Shepard's kick long, but all Dockers back there, and Subin can sweep yep. things up. The ball is kicked. Not good, and Darling wins it back. Eagles forwards, Darling and Kennedy against three Docker backmen. So they're, so they're relying on a lot of pressure here, so the ball comes in in a bit of a junk fashion, so the third man up can pick it off. Big pack of players. Barlow did well to extract it to Fife. Up towards Pavlich, got two to beat there. Butler was good. Tapped it to Hearn. Marston, looks like he hasn't missed a beat. Yo, long kick. Towards Darling again. Well done, Johnson. That's that extra coming to play. Kennedy's forward pressure. Brilliant. Slips it across to Lacroix. Quick shot to go. Trying to shove Sutcliffe away. That was the reason for the free kick. I think he was go trying me, a bit more me. than that. <laughs> Another good <laughs> tap from Sandilands. Gaff. Darling again involved. He's had a monster first quarter. West guys can work it up the wing. Kennedy. Now out for Jetta, who's got no one in front of him inside 50. He has to wait for the run. Cripps is pretty quick. And he used the body brilliantly, but dropped the mark. The Dockers get back. That's the three on two again. Ebert well yeah, yeah, that's West, one on the uh, Fremantle have gotten back well in numbers. Gaff's kick mate, mate. to the pocket. Kennedy on the lead. Dawson right there with him every step of the way. She just used the... I suppose there was a hair's breadth in between free kick and legality there. Barlow's kick stayed in, which meant that Hearn was infringed upon by Pavlich. And he can send it long again. Hearn deep. Nadanui! Rising into the back of Aaron Sandilands and taking a great mark. Wow, that's a double whammy. Take the big contested mark and hurt your opponent at the same time. The boys miss. If it's his kick dangerous. Contest. Barlow did really well. He hurt Gaff then. Handled it quickly. Zungu under a bit of pressure. Sheridan in support. West Coast pressure is good. Butler didn't want it, but he knocked it back well to Kennedy. Jetta spots up, darling. Hold the lead up. Fremantle, a lot of adjusting to do with Aaron Sandlins. Down the race at the moment. Lice it. Alex Pierce did well. Neil Langdon. And the ball knocked out of his hands. Johnson, not 15 though to Sutcliffe, but time and a player free Barlow. We had talking like dinosaurs, but sometimes you've got to pull the trigger and go to the one-on-one, -on -one, especially when it's Nick Nadanui against an undersized opponent. Alex Pierce for De Boer, that's not 15. Sheridan under pressure. Alex Pierce's handball is a good one, but Ibbotson fumbled. Sets up Dawson, tackled, and he dropped it, holding the ball. The brother of Tom at Collingwood, trying to make his mark in the Peter, AFL. Not quite as tall, Ed's measuring in at 181 centimetres. Main, oh. back across goal, he's not sure what to do, Dawson provided a good shepherd. We're not sure about him either at the moment. Ibbotson, long to the wing, now Barlow's clear, and he takes the mark. Peter. And he's got some running support from Hill. Natanui to try and close it down, but it kicks a beauty up oh. the boundary line. Valentine Mark wants to keep it moving, Walters. Dancing on the 50. He slid the kick on the ground to Langdon. Darling was there though. Jetta, Marston and Prittis. The Eagles out of danger. Disappointing news there for Fremantle. We hope Aaron Sandilands is okay. Well, what they have at their disposal also is... Oh, that's a turn. Poor kick by Fife. Fife has got it back and West Coast want to move it quickly. McKenzie doesn't kick a lot of goals. He's only just returned to footy and he's banged that one through. And they come from everywhere. I mean, that's a wonderful sight, isn't it? You, you get all these, I suppose, wonderful things that can happen to a league footballer. But still, when it comes back to something like this, it's club football. And you've got a mate who's been up against it for a full year. He's been out of the game. And they come from everywhere to congratulate him. He's not the best kick in the world, Brownie, but he got it done then. He's a good defender, though. Well respected. the Dockers forwards because they vacate with two that go up the ground. Natanui rocking against Michael Barlow. Lacra back to Natanui. Sheridan 
Wrestling with Jeddah. Good handball to Mzungu. Fremantle maybe a chance for a late one. Walters did well. Hearn then bumped into Main. That was gutsy by Hearn going back. Good yeah. captain's play. From Aston. And you called it. It was Barlow in the ruck before. So that's the shuffle down. And we've got a man who's encroached on the... Into the protected 10 metre area. And that means this could land in the goal square or a spot up there. They've still got room there. Aston. Sends it in towards Darling. Great kick. That was a bullet. With one step, fantastic by Marston. This guy, Jack Darling, he's been terrific all night. Just come back onto the ground. I think it was Sutcliffe got lost then. I think it was. Important shot for the Eagles forward. Darling looks good off the boot. And the Eagles will have the lead at half time. Who they pick up? You've got to go with Sutcliffe against Darling, a true flanker against a true key position player. The siren sounds for half time. The Eagles have just got their noses in front. The big story, though, in the first half an injury to Aaron Sandilands. And the Dockers will have to come up with some answers at half time. They've been much better through the first half than the first two rounds of the season, Fremantle. They desperately need a win. We're doing everything they can through the rest of this one to get the four points.